Farlight 84 1.4 star uh, on Play Store Google Play 457k review Damn Damn First of all, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna defend this game and that's totally normal, no? It's totally okay you are 100% um right for defending the game, especially if you're a big fan of Farlight 84. And uh, I respect that a lot. I respect that a lot. Kasi isa ako sa mga nag-interview or nag-interview uh, tuloy. Isa ako sa mga nag-introduce nitong game na to sa YouTube, no? There's gonna be people who are not gonna like this video. Not gonna like this discussion. At the end of the day, we're just gonna talk about facts, no? Um, and also opinions, uh, comments, ratings, feedback from the community. Ang gagawin natin is we're gonna be reading the uh, the ratings of the people about Firelight 84's uh, Play Store and why why it's now down to 1.4 star. And it's it's so sad, guys. Okay, don't get me wrong. This is not me um, promoting the downfall of this game. No, we're just gonna talk about the game, and we're also gonna talk about you know how I how I see this game to to come back. You know, kung sa tingin ano sa tingin ko yung parang uh, potential niya to be a good game, right? Because I I think Farlight eighty four is a good game. It's just that. A lot of people are not happy because of the update. And that's just so effing true. Totoong totoo yun. Because the numbers speak for itself. Kita nyo naman. Yun lang talaga yung nangyari, man. They, they wanted to push through with this update and people are not happy with the update. Alright. So. Okay. So we're gonna be reading the positive comments, guys. No, First of all, fa positive. Basahin natin yung mga positive comments and ibabasahin natin yung mga negative comments. Let's start with something positive, right? Why not? Sabi ni Aaron Dizon, the update is so is good. The jetpacks is okay to remove because it's very OP in Clash. Sabi niya, the update is good. Jetpack is okay to remove because it's very OP in Clash. Tama yun. Tama yun. Right? Tama din na... Tama yung point niya na sinabi niya. The jetpack is very... Is okay to remove because it's very OP in Clash. That's right. At the same time, the jetpack is what made Farlight 84 unique. Kasi yung jetpack, yun lang yung meron yung Farlight 84 na wala yung ibang game. Now, if we're gonna talk about very OP in Clash, it's very subjective kasi. Right? Kasi... The, the way it's subjective is because you don't know who you're up against. If you're a new player and you're up against a new player, both you guys are not gonna be OP sa jetpack if you guys are both new to the game. If bago lang kayo sa game, if pareha kayong nahihirapan gumamit na jetpack, that's okay. How is it OP if you are both clashing with the same skills? Di ba? Tama yun. And I guess, I guess the point of this guy is the jetpack is okay to remove because uh, very open in Clash. Siguro naka-experience to ng maraming moments na kinakain siya ng kalaban niya. Tama yun? Like this guy, this guy could have experience like going against, you know, ace players while he is grandmaster. And that's what I've been saying, guys. The jetpack is okay to remove. But is it really... Is it really okay to remove something that made a game? Kasi ito, feeling ko, ito yung isa sa mga players na ayaw ng jetpack kasi nahihirapan siya. And that's okay. But you also have to think about all the other players na gumagamit ng jetpack dahil yun yung nagustuhan nila sa game. May mga, ang daming mga players na talagang naglaro at naggrind ng Farlight 84 dahil yung jetpack ang nagustuhan nila sa game. The same as me, when I first started playing the game, I really love the jetpack, man. Gustong gusto ko yung jetpack. Gusto ko ko yung, yung, ang bilis mo, like, nakaka-adrenaline rush yung feeling pag gumagamit ka ng jetpack. Yes, but it's not the same anymore because the jetpack is what's making the game different from other Battle Royale games. The jetpack ang uh, nagpapabuhay sa game at nagpapaiba pa ng laro. Ay na mga players na hindi nakakasabay sa Clash. And that's okay. Kung hindi ka nakakasabay sa Clash, again, dapat yung mga kalaban mo hindi din nakakasabay sa Clash. It's all about the matchmaking, men. Kasi, alam nyo guys, ang pinaka, ano kasi dyan guys, ang pinaka problema kasi dyan guys, is alam mo yung feeling na hindi mo kaya yung kalaban mo at nawawalan ka ng gana na maglaro. Right? 
that's the main like thing about multiplayer shooting games, right? Nakakaumay maglaro pag alam mong sobrang lakas ng kalaban mo. Yung jetpack napaka overwhelming yun pag <laughs> lumilipad-lipad yung kalaban mo tas nag- na- nalilito ka na dahil grabe sobrang lakas ng kalaban mo. That's that's very demotivating, man. It will crush your soul. Stupid game developers trying to copy Apex Legends. Na ito yung isa sa mga issue talaga din sa game, guys. There's this game that's called High Energy Heroes. And itong High Energy Heroes, this is a game that looks like exactly like Apex Legends Mobile. Kung isearch nyo yun. Yun, Apex M 2.0, Apex Legends Mobile 2.0. Ito yung game, man. Ito yung game na... Ito yung parang ano ni... Si Icyos, oh. Kilala nyo to, guys. Ito, si Icyos. This is one of the Farlight 84 content creators na ano, hindi ko alam kung ano nationality niya eh. But this is one of the top Farlight 84 content creators and now he's playing High Energy Heroes. Oh, Zack Wilder, High Energy Heroes, Kai Boiti. Itong game na to, this is exactly like Apex Mobile 2.0, like what they're saying. Kasi talagang napaka-identical niya sa Apex na ito. Like the the items, the skills, the the HUD, yung slide slide, yung yung characters, lahat men. Yung map, kita niyo tong map na to. This is Apex Legends uh World's Edge ata, World's Edge. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly what Apex Legends looks like. Now, High Energy Heroes is gonna have a global release. Yun yung narinig ko. So what if ma-release ang High Energy Heroes, guys? And this is This is Apex Legends 2.0, right? I think this guy is just spitting out facts, no? Alam, alam kong, totoo kasi yung sinasabi niya, men. When I first played the new update, it really felt like Apex Legends. Yung mapa, yung mapa, Apex Legends. Yung mga building, may mga building models doon na Apex Legends. Naglagay sila ng trio, Apex Legends. Yung mga supply box, Apex Legends. Yung forma ng mga armor, we all know that's Apex Legends. Right? And there's really no problem if if a game is trying to copy another game or take inspiration from another game. I think that's totally fine because for me, I think what really matters is yung mechanics or yung gameplay ng isang game. I think at the end of the day, guys, kung maglalaro man tayo ng isang game, I think yung pinaka-importante talaga is kung nag enjoy ka ba or hindi. Right? Tama ba ako dun? Kasi alam mo yun, yung parang why would you download a game if hindi ka nag enjoy right? So, coming from this guy, if Firelight 84 is trying to copy Apex Legends, I think wala namang problema yun. Pinaka, na proble- pinaka ano kasi para sa akin, guys, is there's this one video na in-upload ng... Let's, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Pakita ko sa inyo. Meron kasi silang video, guys, na in-upload na yung special announcement nila. Let me try to... Let me try to, ano, to look for that video. Wait lang. Basta meron silang video, guys, na sinabi nila... Meron silang video na sinabi nila na Farlight, gusto nila yung Farlight 84 is may sariling identity. You can look for that video. I'm not gonna look for it right now kasi ang hirap ng tami natin titignan. But they did say, like, LazyCast was the, ano, right, the community like spokesperson, right? Uh, he did say na Farlight 84 wants to have an identity. And ironically, yung identity na pinapakita nila ngayon is trying to copy Apex Legends I guess Because <laughs> yung feeling ng ano yung feeling ng ng game ngayon is really trying to copy Apex Legends man I mean agree naman siguro kayong lahat right na sinasabi kong ganun kasi a lot of assets a lot of models a lot of things that are the same with Apex Legends is already in the game and imagine they remove the jet Pac-Man, which is the only thing that is unique to their game compared to other Battle Royale games. And that's why people are not happy with, with this update. There are still people that support the game. And yes, please, please do support the game if you enjoy the game. Support any game that is enjoyable for you. I think if you want to have your own identity for your game, dapat yung gawin mo una sa lahat is how can you be unique. And then, yung, tinang- yung ginawa nila is tinanggal nila yung pagiging unique ng game. Like, mind-blowing. Mind-blowing, promise. Grabe ka mind-blowing. Getting worse with a 5-star. Good job, Anxiety Gamer. Still a good game even without a jetpack. Sabi ni Jan, Jan Brian Mangundayo. I'm also a player and players should adapt to the mechanics of the game and not the game itself. The, okay. I am also a player... 
and players should adapt to the mechanics of the game and not the game itself. Huh. I mean, gets ko. I understand. And I think he's right in saying that a player should adapt to the mechanics of the game but not the game itself. That's weird. If you say it like that. Parang it's it's so weird. A player... Because if we remove this statement, right? I'm also a player and players should adapt a player should not adapt to the game itself. Kasi part na to ng game eh. Should adapt to the mechanics of the game and not the game itself. I mean, you should adapt to the game. Like, <laughs> the, the mechanics of the game is also part of the game. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, I think it's contradicting yung sinasabi niya. You should adapt to the game. Hindi yung sinasabi mong just the mechanics of the game. I understand and he's right. Kailangan naman natin talaga mag-adapt lahat. Lahat tayo mag-adapt sa isang mechanics ng isang game. If the, the developers wanna push through with that update, right? Pero ang game itself is the game. Gets nyo yun? Sa point ng ni John Brian Magundayaw, guys, I, I think it's right. It's tama talaga yun na still the game is good without the jetpack. Okay naman talaga siyang laruin. Maganda naman talaga yung game. Ang problema kasi ng developers is inignore nila yung feeling ng mga players na nasanay talaga sa jetpack. Nilagay lang nila yung update diretso. Lo. Alam mo yun, yung parang walang walang warning, yung parang... Ay, naku, parang diretso-diretso lang yung update na hindi man lang nila binigyan ng ng heads up yung mga tao na, uy, mawawala yung jetpack. Like, boom, nawala yung jetpack. But again, it's not entirely gone, no? Alam naman natin, hindi nawala talaga yung jetpack. But the feeling of of those players na nag-quit at naglagay ng one-star review, yun yung nag-trigger sa kanila, for sure. Ang importante naman talaga is mag-enjoy kayo. Right? If you're not enjoying, why are you, why are you gonna play? Time is very valuable, guys. Okay, there's a lot of games in the industry right now. Ang daming battle royale. If we're gonna be specific about this, ang daming battle royale na pwede nyo ng laro in. And if Farlight 84 is your favorite game, and dahil dahil sa jetpack naging favorite game mo siya, tas tinanggal yun, binago nila yung mechanics. Boom, wala na. Matik yung mindset ng isang player, yung isang gamer. Parang ayaw ko na nito. Um, wala. Binago nila yung game. Ayoko na nito. Laro na lang ako ng iba, di ba? Yun yung sad part. Because there's a lot of game. A lot of battle royals right now. If you're gonna spend time in grinding a game, imagine, if a certain player is nag-grind ng game like for 5 hours a day, and then biglang binago yung game, like the, a big change came into the game na talagang nagbago yung mechanics. Nasayang lang yung oras mo, Ben. Di ba? Why would you play that game, continue to play that game kung ganun din naman yung nangyari? Yun yung parang trigger moment ng mga players na, ah, let's just switch games. So, switch game na lang ako. Wala naman. Wala eh. Binago nila eh. Nasayang lang yung oras ko, di ba? Let the devs change the game the way they want. Okay. The game is good as is. Let the devs change the game the way they want. That's true. This is true. Let the devs change the game the way they want. Wala naman talaga yung magagawa. The, the devs are the ones who control their game. Diba? But the question is, if you are the one who controls your game, if you are the one who makes the game, the devs, who will play your game? Paano pag yung mindset mo bilang developer is, gusto natin gawin to, sige, implement natin to, bahala na yung mga players. And this is what he's saying sa, ano niya, real, real gamers will adapt. And I think this is fucking stupid, man. I'm sorry for the word, guys, pero... I, I think you cannot say that real gamers will adapt. Kasi hindi mo pwedeng sabihin real gamers, yung mga nag-quit is hindi sila real gamers. Those people spent a lot of time grinding the game. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin hindi sila real gamers. Kasi nag-quit sila, kasi nadismaya sila sa ginawa ng Firelight. Despite the fact na ang dami na nilang oras sa Firelight. And itong, get itong klaseng mindset na cry babies will always cry. I think that's toxic, man. You cannot really say, pag, pag yung isang, ano, pag yung isang player naging crybaby, depende kasi yan sa point of view nung bakit sila umiyak or sabihin natin bakit sila na-disappoint, na-dismaya at nag-quit. Hindi yung sasabihin mo na lang na crybaby sila, no. There is always a reason bakit sila nag-quit. And the reason behind this is again the, the jetpack. <clears throat> good, I like it. I love the game. I love this game because of jetpack. Got deleted, good job. Please get back the natural color. Mm, yun din guys. Nag-iba din yung color ng game, no? Yung color ano niya. 
para sa mga newbie nga di kasabay sa jetpack, ni dragid mo practice or mag-accept nga di mo ma, di pa mo makasabay karon sa jetpack, pero puhon makasabay ra mo. Uh, yeah, I, true. And again, it will it will ano it will always be about matchmaking, guys. Matchmaking talaga yung makakapag-fix ng ganyan. Because I really think, guys, the way they're updating their game right now, they're, they're going towards a direction na gusto nila maging super casual yung game, which is, which I think is opposite to what they've been doing for the past months. Kasi nag-FCF, na yan? FPC sila, yung Firelight tournament nila, di ba? FPC ba yun? Nakalimutan ko eh. The game became a bit boring and most of the uh, the game became a bit boring most of the players were bots after the update. Yeah. Exactly. Alam niyo, alam niyo kung bakit? Alam niyo kung bakit ang daming bot? They added trios. So right now the game has duos, trios and squads. They added a new map so the game has three maps. Tatlo na yung mapa. And then ang dami pa nag-quit dahil sa jetpack removal. So all in all, pag nag-queue ka ng isang game, Lahat ng mga players madidistribute sa iba't ibang queue. May mga players na nag-queue sa duo na Sunset, sa duo na Lampton, o sa duo na, ano ba yung, Thunder Realms ba yun? Yung bagong map. Tapos may ibang players din na nakikue sa trio na Sunset, trio na Lampton, trio na Thunder Realms. Tapos meron namang players na squad na sa alam nyo yun, guys, it goes on. So, malamang, dadami talaga yung boot. <laughs> Tapos kumunti pa yung players. Oh my god. There's a lot of issues about the update, especially the jetpack, which considered as Farlight's identity. True. The old lobby graphics is much better though. True. I agree. 100%. I know that developers can make things out better, right? He still has trust. Trust pa rin. I will still give 5 stars even though I don't like the update. Good luck. Okay, fair enough. Coming from Jessel Princess. Taasa po ni mga alanda yun eh. Jessel Princess Teresa Saturinas. Grabe. Shout out sa pangalan niya. Ang haba na pangalan mo, man. I think this is a fair comment, though. Because this person loves the game. Right? This is a, uh, a good comment. Ganito yung mga, mga comment na mga, ano, hindi toxic, alam niyo yun. Yung parang sobrang, ano lang talaga. Um, mayroon pa siyang trust sa developers. Ganun. Farlight, we need a jetpack. We don't want a new skill. If not needed, just keep up and cheer up. I will wait for your return. I believe in you, five star. Okay. So right now guys, we're gonna be looking at the one stars. Ito yung ano men, ito yung juicy part. <laughs> All right. Sikirito Zoro, it's so bad when you remove the the MF jetpack. All right. Si Joyce, please bring back bring back. Please please back the old Firelight. Bring back the old Firelight. Jerry de la Cruz, bring back the jetpack. Pakibalik yung jetpack, man. I'm very disappointed for new update because no more jetpacks and no more dancing again. No more dancing again? I hope bring back a horizontal and vertical dash. Ha? Huh? No more da- Ha? Huh? Meron pa namang emote, ha? Huh? You can still dance in the game. Hello? Uh, OG players, this new update wasn't for us. Exactly, man. Ipo Bonador. Exactly, man. This new update wasn't for us, for OG players. This is what I'm saying. Kung OG player ka at na- nasanay ka, nasanay ka sa game, man, Talagang maninibago ka. And again, if you love the game, if you are dedicated to really play Farlight 84 and you wanna support the game, nag adjust ka. Right? mag adjust ka. The update is very trash. Downgrade as fuck. You already made your grave, Farlight 84, sabi ni Mark Magno. Many players will not play anymore because of your trash update. Mm -hmm. Imperial plays. Daming bot ngayon, up, uh, ngayong update. Naglaro ako parang ako lang yung player. Almost 40 kills ako. <laughs> <laughs> 40 kills 40 kills Sa isang lobby All bots Damn No jetpack One star Bring back the old jetpack Bring back the jetpack Balik niyo yung jetpack Not recommended TCH What's TCH? Ch Ana? Ch <laughs> Bring back the old jetpack Worst update the new update makes the game not Farlight anymore. I play because of the unique jetpack mechanic. Now it's just like other game. Farlight is not Farlight without jetpack. Exactly. Exactly, man. I really am disappointed, Nathaniel Barago, to the recent update. The fact that you removed the only reason why we play the game, the weakness of the source of movement. The so jetpack has been the most crucial component of the game that made players like it. 
And now we had to decide whether to raise this concern or throw our interest. Yeah. Exactly, man. It's sad how the game becomes like this. Please give us a back the jetpack. Ito yung ano. This guy speaks for a lot of people. Tama. Wala na akong, wala na akong masasabi dito, guys. It's, it's all in there. Again, it's all about the jetpack. Remove jetpack or add slide cancel. If they add slide cancel, then that's that doesn't really still make sense. Kay slide cancel is like war zone. You know, that's not far light. And again, going back, going back to what they said, na gusto nilang gusto nila na may identity yung Farlight 84. Slide cancel is is exist in different games. Jetpack was the identity of Farlight 84, and they removed it. I don't like it since when it comes to a new update. Since there's no innovative update, and I firmly believe that we players deserve better. True, true. There's no innovative update. Siguro kung meron man, meron mga like small things about the update. But again, the the overall like feeling of the update really sucks. Very disrespectful for the jetpack. Yeah. We did not like the update this month, so my friends and I decided to stop playing FL. Um, we are disappointed because you removed the horizontal jetpack. Only the vertical jetpack remains. Okay, but it's... Horizontal is the, ano, the one that remains. Vertical is uh, yung nawala. TBH that is sucks because Farlight removed the jetpack. Jetpack to the game. It's all about the jetpack, guys. But I'm a stupid update. <laughs> uh, I used to enjoy this game after Apex Legends M shutdown. I like the movement mechanics and make it unique among the other Battle Royale titles. But removing the main mechanics of the game is really a bad move. Yeah, agree. Now I do not have the urge to even open the game. Damn. You listen to the minority and not consulting what will be the effects for the majority of the players. Man. Amen. <laughs> Ito, you listen to the minority and not consulting what will be the effects for the majority of the players. That's so freaking true, man. Ito talaga, man. Yung mga remaining players ng game, yung mga OG players na nag-grind, sila talaga yung nadismaya, of course, because they got used to the jetpack. This is a downfall yet. If I wanted to play a battle royale, there's a lot better of titles. But, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of better titles out there. True. Exactly, man. Ang daming battle royale. <laughs> yun na nga lang yung naging unique sa sa Farlight 84 yung jetpack and then the oh my god I, we keep we keep going in circles about this guys but yeah we're just gonna keep on reading some comments but uh, basically we all know na jetpack talaga yung problema that's why I wanted to make this video to make this review this video is not about dissing Farlight okay hindi ako uh, this is not about starting to or to start people to hate Farlight no Right? No, it's not about that. This is just about awareness and discussion about sa, sa current state ng Farlight. And to let the Farlight devs know if they ever see this video. I know this. I'm just a small YouTuber, small content creator. If if ever they see this video and uh, you know they see this discussion, that things can change. And I hope na... Yun. I hope na they wake up from this from this downfall. They they stand and rise again and come back and listen to the community what the community wants. They compromise if they wa don't want to bring back the jetpack, which I think they should. At least they compromise in a way that they make the game uh enjoyable again na mabalik yung feeling ng, ng jetpack. And I think, again, I think the solution is to bring back the jetpack and nerf the jetpack, but don't remove the jetpack. Try daw sa Steam na rating. Okay. Mm, recent. So this guy is 0 0.8 hours on record, and he's saying na he's playing on phone. This guy is 122 hours. 500 hours. Oh, but he's talking about the uh, no? crashes. This is 300 hours. Damn. 300 hours. They removed the only thing. Um, setting them apart from other games. Uh, wait. From other games like this. The jetpack. Yeah. Congrats to the devs for ignoring player feedback. Making the game boring. Okay. We already read that. Devs ruin the game. Don't play this game. 
Tang ina. <laughs> Farlight 84, Falcon 84. Tang <laughs> ina. Ang ina nyo, pinakorni nyo na naman tong Firelight. Gusto nyo, maparehas sa sila ng Valorant. 500 R si K... 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 <laughs> galit na galit si Idol. 182 R's. Creators ruin the game by removing jetpacks. That is the main symbol of this game. Can't do crazy movements. Slowing and turning into PUBG. Best. Okay. If you love yourself, don't play. <laughs> okay, kung lawan. Kung lawan, ang lupan. If you love yourself, don't play this game. It sucks after the version. <laughs> Bro. Only ever got... And this guy has 300 hours. You know? Only ever got bot lobbies. It's 6 hours. That's that's fair enough. Just played my regards. I love the art style and the whimsy. Similar in ways of different... Oh, this guy is new. Bago lang to. Okay. After reading all these negative reviews, I can say that I'm glad there are no jetpacks. Lol. I will play more for. Okay, so this guy is this is this guy is new. Ito yung perspective ng new player, guys, because this is like 0.7 hours. And then what he's saying is uh, similar in a ways, but uh, different other some but other BRs. After reading all these negative reviews, I can say that I'm glad there are no jetpacks. So ganito yung feeling pag bago ka sa game. If you're a new player and walang jetpack. That's okay for you. Walang problema din sa iyo kasi hindi ka kasi nasanay sa jetpack, 'di ba? You, you you were not used to the jetpack, so wala ka talagang ano, reklamo, right? They removed jetpacks, which was the only thing that set themselves apart from other battle royale, yeah. 28 hours. Furthermore, they re they reworked the appearance and back stories of many heroes into boring and genetic tropes. I'm voting it thumbs down if hopes of them reverting the update. Worst update, 800 hours. Damn. It really disappointed me for this new update. I've been playing this a long time because of the uniqueness of jetpacks, but I felt different since they removed it. I guess it's time to take a break for this game until they return the jetpack. Damn. I almost never leave reviews. 165 hours. But this game has become so absolutely terrible overnight that I have to warn others not to play it as well. Damn. This game is horrible now. Which is incredi incredibly, incredibly, which is incredibly sad to see from a game that actu I actually loved and adored before the latest update. After the latest patch update, it's just so glaringly obvious that the devs of this game desperately want their game to be like Apex. Exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> and yet they completely fail in every possible way. <laughs> this game has become a complete garbage that is absolutely not fun to play. Ironically, the de oh my god, this is wow. Okay, wow. I don't claim the, the devs claim to the devs claim they the, I don't the devs claim to want balance yet somehow seem to counteract that at every possible chance they get. Gunplay feels like absolute garbage. Hero skills are terribly unbalanced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Movement is absolutely dog shit after the jetpack. <laughs> The new map is not the only bland, it's not only bland but also huge as fuck and horrendous cover spots which pairs terribly with the nerf movement. Damn. I am not exaggerating when I say that this game is unbalanced and unfun in, in every possible sense. One thing I cannot understand for the life of me, oh, grabe, is why the devs chose to release major skill changes in waves. That only five heroes out of the game's roster have a full kit. Under no circumstances should the skill overhaul have ever been released in waves or phases. If you're ever going to do a major skill change like that, it should it should have been done all at once or not at all. Yeah, exactly. This is so fucking true, man. You know what, Look at this. Um, this is this is so accurate, by as in, um, one thing that I cannot understand. Why the devs chose to release major skill changes in waves. So what he means, ang ibig niyang sabihin, is alam niya yung pag-change ng skills. Like, Cypher has teleport, scan, and the EMP. But you also have other characters na dalawa lang yung skill nila. Like, for example, Phantom has scan, and then yung invisible. And then meron siyang dash. There are, there are like, I don't know how many of them, mga limang character ata na may dash, like yung horizontal dash, kasi dalawa pala yung skills nila. 
So, bali hindi kumpleto yung yung um uh, planado nila na skills for those characters. So, what he's saying is only five ito, only five heroes out of the game's roster have full kit. So, yun yung sinasabi ko like si Bo, si Cypher has a full kit. Um si Darkseid has a full kit, right? Under no circumstances should the skill overhaul have ever been released in released released in waves or phases. That's true. Kung meron silang update for the skills, it should have been like boom, one update, right? Grabe yung oh my god, this is so true. <laughs> this is so true, boy. As in if you're going to do a major skill change like that, it should have been done all at once not or not at all. And then they they talk about balancing the game. Damn. The rest of the heroes in the game still only have two skills and what remains of the now nerfed jetpack. This means that they are in inherently playing at a disadvantage compared to the heroes who have new slash updated kits. And that's not even getting into the decision of how horribly unbalanced certain hero skills are now that the movement is nerfed. Yes! Like honestly, what the fuck is that Buse Ultimate or Lucinda or Cypher or Ember who thought of any unbalanced while also nerfing movement? <laughs> <laughs> This guy, this guy knows his ano ba eh. This guy, this guy, gare gare din siya sa young notes ba eh. Grabe ni siya ba eh. This guy knows his, his, uh, his game, his thing. <laughs> Damn. On top of all that, gunplay feels awful now. Most gun sounds basically sound like the equivalent of wet diary. <laughs> Most gun sounds basically equivalent of wet diarrhea. Let me let me just zoom this in. Recoil is terrible for many weapons and makes aiming past mid distance an absolute 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 joke. Weapon damage was also heavily nerfed across the board at low levels due to the weapon levels being. On top of that, the new map is a nightmare. Good luck trying to get anywhere around the map without getting shot at and dying in the open. Pair that with the nerf chat box and once again, you cannot do anything to escape. Especially the Falcon, right? Grabe yung Falcon. Pag matamaan ka na ng Falcon, basa, ah, basag. Ah, basag nga. Basag yung shield mo. Tapos, wala na. <laughs> also, the game feels markedly slower due to, again, not being able to jetpack for dynamic movement and gameplay. The game feels like shit to play now. I could go on for days, but I'll stop myself here. Yeah, I, I, same, bro. Same. I like this guy, man. <laughs> I like this guy, man. I cannot stress this enough. Do not play this garbage in its current state. Even compared to other battle royals on the market, this game takes the, the cake as the worst of them right now. Mm -hmm. The devs of this game fails to understand every aspect of what made their game fun. Mm-hmm. Which is sad, right? Because a lot of people love this game. And dami talagang nagkagusto sa Firelight. And then, they fail to understand every aspect of what they made their game fun. And one of that major, major aspect is the jetpack. Damn. And seem dead set on destroying every single thing the, the community loved about this game. Which is the jetpack, yeah. Legitimately, if the devs do not reverse this change by the next update, I am uninstalling and never coming back. Even if, even if they do reverse, I don't feel like I can trust a dev team that actively admits to not listening to their community and blindly pushes through wildly hated changes anyway with smug smiles on their faces. Damn, this is... Grabe naman niyo eh. <laughs> Damn! Blindly pushes through wildly hated changes anyway with smug smiles on their face. I don't know how to feel about the last comment, but I guess he's just really disappointed and... Uh, this maya alan talaga siya. So, you know, you cannot blame a person that who really loves a game, right? And felt absolutely devastated by the whole update. And you cannot really, like, blame him for, like, commenting things like this. Kasi ano eh, when a gamer loves a game and talks about facts about a game, hindi yung nagko-complain siya dahil hindi niya kaya yung makalaban. When a gamer does, like, a... Uh, um, a thorough review of a game um, not because of how he feels but objective siya ba if objective yung review about the game then you know you're absolutely um 100% ano right about how you feel about the game because 
the way you look at the game is objective. Eh? Like you talk about the jetpack, you talk about you know how they they change the game and things like that. So yeah, I think this guy, um, Seth Chan, with another sixty-five hours on the game, I think he he pointed a lot. You no, know, I you know a lot about how the game is has changed and the, about the update. I I think we're gonna I think we're gonna end it here, guys, because uh. I think we have uh, we have talked a lot about this. I think we can all agree, guys, that um, Firelight is a good game. You know, Firelight is a great game. To those who are still enjoying the game, just keep playing. Enjoy the game as long as you're enjoying. Then go ahead. To those who people who quit, I cannot blame you for quitting. And to those who people who still have trust and believe, um, sa mga sa developers then let's just wait and see what they will do to their game since <clears throat> it goes to show na ano a lot of people really are unhappy and uh, nakita man sad sa ano nakita din sa sa review it's 1.4 stars sa play store so yeah that's it guys don't forget to comment whatever your feelings are for this video or for the for the discussion so ano Farlight 84 and uh, do you think Farlight will listen to their community and uh, do you think Farlight will bring back the jetpack? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and uh, yeah. Marating.